It's a new year and a new you. That's right. Yes, so today we're going to be making a spaghetti squash casserole because we are starting our elimination diet for our clean workshop coming up in this month. Soon, <laughs> right now. Next week. We're in the elimination process. <laughs> but so in eliminating all these cheeses and fun foods, might, some people might say. And your white foods, your alcohol. All of it. We want to keep it flavorful. So what you need for this spaghetti squash casserole is a spaghetti squash. And then you can really put whatever you want in it. We're going to be putting dairy-free pesto, either homemade, homemade or store-bought store -bought convenience. We love convenience. Yeah. And then we are going to be showing you how we cook down sliced mushrooms and spinach to kind of mix it all in together with the pesto. Bake it and you've got a wonderful one pot. We love it. Nice. And it's very delicious. All right, so this is the scary part. Megan is very proficient at cutting these I guys. I love cutting these. So good knife, very important. Number one, be careful. Kind of ah! just get it in there. And sometimes what you find is if it's really tough and you can't do that, you'll get it in part way and just kind of take the knife. This is my motion. This is where the scary part comes in because then if you can't, this is a really good knife so it'll go through but sometimes you can't and you can take it and just kind of whack it down that's okay. and kind of force it. And it's but, breaking, it's already cracking. Yeah. So, so you can just kind of keep good. whacking it like that or take it back out, go through, redistribute it and cut mm -hmm. on through. Ta-da! Spaghetti squash. And what you're going to do now is, mm. as Peg's showing you, scooping out the insides of these seeds. And it's okay if you don't get all the stringiness of it. Um, well, because isn't spaghetti squash not it's stringy. Really stringy? And so, but it's good, yeah, because I'm, I mean, yeah. Just get the majority of the seeds out is all you're looking to do. So as Peg finishes up, taking all the insides out of the spaghetti squash, our oven has been preheating at 400 degrees, and we have this parchment lined baking baking sheet and so you can do it just like this face down or we pegs has found well yeah I like I like to just add a little bit of olive oil just brush it gently nicely lightly you know just you get can it. drizzle it too if you don't want to use this little fancy spoon and then just face them down turn them down and into the oven they go and we're gonna bake these for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how your oven cooks. And how big the spaghetti squash. We've had spaghetti squashes that are this big, so it really just depends. Yeah. Until you stick a knife or a fork in it, that tells you when it's done. Yes, and we are going to show you. We have this. already cooked spaghetti squash and like we were saying you know they're done is because you can just kind of see how the skin it just kind of breaks right through well and the knife, knife is gonna cut through it anyways but you can you can just poke it so the skin's soft and you can see this lovely golden little Round edges is. put that in there mm -hmm. and what's really wonderful with this is you can see that there's the spaghetti that's kind of all lined in there the easiest way to take this out so that you get everything in here is with a spoon. And we're just gonna take it, so you can do it with a spoon oh, okay. too. We're gonna do this together. And Wow, put, this cooked beautifully. I wanna show them all the threads, Meg, cause it's so, I'm, I'm just so fascinated that a, a squash can look like spaghetti. But it's like so Hence cool. the name, spaghetti I squash. Know, but look. It's like little threads of we love it. spaghetti, especially for those of us that yes. are trying to, you know, not have too many um, carbs, carbs and whatnot. Although these these are, are wonderful carb. carbs. And can you imagine, Meg, if you actually stuffed it back into the shell? You could. But see, so I want all of this. All of this really good. This you can get in the spoon. The just really allows you to get everything. everything. Oops. All right, so let's set this aside. And now, what we have, we cooking. have our shiitake mushrooms, sliced shiitake mushrooms. And so, like a mushroom like this, you're just gonna be taking it and slicing whatever size. You can dice them, you can leave them big, you can have them. 
It doesn't matter. Yeah. Just like this. Mm -hmm. And this is what you're going to be And then cut them in half. half. Well, you can. You can leave okay. them like this. You yeah. can cut them in half. You can then go ahead and dice them up. Whatever. Whatever you want to do with your mushrooms or any other veggie. But so we have mushrooms. And then those are cooked down. So now we're going to take this wash this is spinach. A small, and this is a small box. You know, I mean, a small pan of spaghetti squash. So we're using a small box. If you were going to double the size of this, you would add the large yes. box of but spinach. The spinach cooks down. It wilts down very, very so nothing, little. almost nothing. So we're adding it to our already cooked down mushrooms. Put them in pegs. Put them yeah, in. Yeah. Put them in. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to cover it. Now, this is a trick. You know how spinach sometimes gets a little watery? All you have to do in your heated pan, cover it for about a minute with the mushrooms, and then bingo, they're not watery. You know how sometimes spinach can be too watery? So it's, you're covering it for the minute and then removing the lid. You're not going to keep the lid on it because then that's where you're going to create all the water. you got to mm -hmm. take that lid off after the minute. Once it wilts. So it could be a minute or two. So the spinach is now perfectly wilted, and you can see we're just kind of mixing it in with Ooh. the mushrooms. Well, let's add a little bit of wilted. garlic. Okay. Ugh, nice. I'm gonna add a spoon of garlic to it. That's a tablespoon. All right. Fine. That's more a big spoonful of garlic. We love it. It's just adding a little bit more flavor. So mixing Wait, it all together. But I want you to see, Megan. There's virtually no water yeah, from the spinach because after a little bit of cooking it down, we just lifted That's the it. lid and now it's all completely cooked. Yeah. So it's ready to pop it in. We are going to mix this. Like and here, let me move it around. Okay, Good. we're getting in there. We need those. Perfect. Mixing, taking all of the mushrooms. Don't miss a single mushroom egg. Well, they're so good for us. Especially if you use the shiitakes. They're my fave. I feel like they're I have long hands. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're just kind of mixing it all in together. It's like tossing a salad. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add the pesto. Yes. Okay. Gonna add you here. Do this. We're gonna add some of our homemade pesto. Yep. So we have homemade pesto that all we did was followed our regular pesto, which we have a video on. We have, yes, you can check out our video recipe for homemade pesto and just omit the cheese. Yes, we have a dairy-free alternative on our website recipe. Mm -hmm. And that makes it clean. Yes, mix it all in. And then the other um, one is this. This is a hemp seed pesto that we bought at the store. Oh, and it's dairy-free. Go ahead and add some in. Yes. Yeah. So we can add, you can mix your pestos. Don't have enough. Mm -hmm. Homemade. That's perfect. And yeah, great either or using homemade, store-bought convenience. This is pretty much done. This is all we're going to do now. And then is sprinkle some to add a little cheesiness to it. Nutritional yeast. If you so like the cheesiness of the whole thing. Yes, you can leave it just like this. We're a little cheesy. And then I have just a little bit of uh, Italian seasonings. A little tiny blend here that I'm just gonna top with it and sprinkle it on and we're ready to add this fresh grated pepper yep and in it goes so we're gonna bake this in the oven just for a couple minutes it's already cooked everything's all cooked we just want to let it all the ingredients and the flavor to really marry together so we have one that's been cooking a double batch mm -hmm. Oh, that's hot. Perfect. Right. Really delicious. And you can see it's just kind of all cooked together. Like a really nice casserole. I can't wait to try it. This is one of my favorites. Mm. Mm. We're just going to dig in. Mm. Mm. Digging in here. This is awesome, Meg. This is a great recipe for all our cleaners out there. Oh my goodness. This is just a great recipe, period. Mm. The pesto is so delicious. And the nutritional yeast is very subtle. It doesn't it doesn't overpower it at all. At all. Mm -mm. So for the full this full recipe, go to currygirlskitchen.com and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, where we're constantly posting and sharing recipes just like this. Thanks for watching.
See you soon. <laughs>